flashback. Here are the new beasts, the new rigs. They're all ready to put on. I'll make sure I grease threads up real nice just to make it a little bit easier. All right, I got the cranks on. You guys ready for this? There she is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, heck. Okay. Come around and do it. Yo. Oh. Y'all ready for biz? Our special guest today is my old escape. Did you guys miss her? All right. What's up guys, Den Den BMX here. Now it has been quite a hot minute since we've done a BMX product review, but I feel like it's time. We've talked about what might be the greatest tires in BMX. We've talked about what might be the strongest wheel set in BMX. We've talked about what might be the best hub guard in BMX. But today we're gonna be talking about what just might take the title for the best and the strongest BMX cranks ever created. Now I know everyone who's ever had a pair of Primo Power Bites just heard that and are like, what the? Fuck, but don't worry, we'll get into all of it. I've got plenty of reasons as to why I believe these are gonna be the best cranks. But before we get into all that, I just wanna say, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you let me know and help support the engagement on this video by leaving a like, leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already and you enjoy the content that I put out. And if you really enjoy the channel, maybe consider joining the membership as hands down the best way to support this channel. Tiers start as low as three bucks and you get access to a bunch of perks and exclusive videos that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. Yeah, it's a fun time, no pressure, but if you do enjoy this channel and you wanna help out just a little bit more, I would really appreciate it. That is hands down the best way to support this channel. So yeah, and last but not least, follow me on Instagram at DenDenBMX. All right, enough being a tool. Now, how strong exactly are these cranks? These cranks just outright embarrass anything else when it comes to strength. You guys think Mando's Beskar armor is strong? Well, you obviously haven't seen the rig cranks yet. Wolverine's cute little adamantium skeleton ain't nothing compared to this. These cranks make vibranium look like paper. What's the really strong metal called in DC comics? I don't know, I guess I'm not that much of a nerd. Whatever that metal is, these cranks make it look like a little bitch. Guys, these cranks are stronger than my will to live. They're stronger than Iggy Azalea's desire to make shitty music. These cranks are stronger than the Republicans and Democrats will to destroy this country. These things right here, they're stronger than your parents' marriage. These rig cranks, they're stronger than Francis Ngannou's uppercut. If you dropped the largest nuke ever created, Tsar Bomba, on these cranks, it would dust it off like it was nothing more than just a little queef in the wind. You cannot comprehend how strong these cranks are. Now some of you might be saying, Denny, you don't really abuse your bike. All things considered, you don't really ride that hard. And while yes, that is true, I do not necessarily ride the hardest, nor am I that tough on my bike. I'm not really sending massive drops daily, but I think you guys are missing the elephant in the room. It's me. I'm the elephant in the room. I am a large Marge. I am a hefty boy. Guys, Husky Nation won't even sponsor me because I'm too big for them. I weigh about as much as that car. And these cranks have held my big ass up effortlessly for five years. If you guys go deep enough into my channel, you will see the video where I've installed these cranks and I'm still riding them to this day. Let's actually talk about these things. These are a 24 millimeter crank, which is the biggest size of crank that you can get. My personal pair are 170 in length. There's 175s, there's 165s, and then I believe there's also 160s. So whichever one suits you is gonna be best for you. But my personal pick is the 170s. I think that's just the sweet spot. And yeah, like I said, I've had these for five years and you can definitely see the wear and tear on them, but they still feel just as solid as they did the day I bought them. Now some of you are gonna be like, Denny, power bites exist. Did you forget about that? No, I didn't. Power bites are a damn strong crank. I mean, how long did Mark Webb have that one pair? For like 10 years? But that might've been just a little like weird thing because I have seen power bites break way sooner than that. However, I personally have never seen a pair of rig cranks break, let alone bend. And while there is that slim chance that power bites may be stronger, and may hold up better. They're also heavy as shit. They're almost as heavy as I am. I think they add like an extra two pounds onto your bike. I don't think it's that bad, but however with these, since these 24 mil cranks are so big, the spindle that they use gets to have a big hollow hole through it, and it actually ends up being lighter than a lot of 22 or even some 19 millimeter cranks. A little bonkers to think about. Now some of you might be like, what about the other 24 mil cranks? Like the indent cranks, or maybe even the Churchill cranks. Now to be real, the Churchill cranks may honestly give these things a run for their money. And I'm saying that because I I have also never seen a pair of those break, and I also really like Stevie Churchill. But I have seen other 24 mil cranks break before. And I don't think I've said it yet, but these cranks are Dennis Anderson's signature cranks. And if you need proof that these things can handle 
some abuse, go watch Dennis Anderson's writing. And the last time I saw him talk about these cranks, he said he's never broken a pair and he's never even seen anyone break a pair either. So if you're not gonna take my word for it, maybe go take Dennis Anderson's. Or maybe anyone else's opinion that rides these. One more thing that qualifies them as maybe the best cranks ever is that they have a lifetime warranty. There's, and there's not a lot of brands that do that, especially with cranks. I think the only other crank that comes with a lifetime warranty is the Odyssey Thunderbolts. Now I could be wrong, regardless, there's not a lot of companies that are giving out lifetime warranties for their cranks. I am losing my daylight here pretty quickly. Let's get some nice B-roll, slow motion beauty shots of these things so you can see just up close how much abuse I've given my personal pair over the five years. And then we'll teleport to tomorrow and we'll talk about these maybe a little bit more. And then we're gonna get into the riding footage. All right, gang, we're in the garage now. You're gonna have to excuse the dog. You can hear barking in the background. My neighbor's a piece of shit and leaves his big old dog locked in a cage in his garage all day, so. Before we get into the riding footage, I just wanna mention a few more things that I really like about these cranks. One of them being the actual bolt design. Dennis Anderson made it a point to where this bolt design doesn't give you as much ankle bite as some other cranks do. And uh, I've definitely gotten used to it and I've gotten spoiled by it a little bit because whenever I go and ride some of my other friends cranks, I usually end up getting an ankle bite pretty hard. With these, you can still get ankle bite, but it definitely doesn't hurt nowhere as near as much because they tried to make the bolt recess about as flush as it could possibly be. Another thing that I really like about these is just the overall size of them. They're a big crank. And so you got a real big, nice platform to catch cranks on. I know some people make this like weirdly big deal about catching cranks as if it's like heresy or something, but honestly, I couldn't give any less of a shit. I catch cranks all the time, I really don't care. And these cranks are definitely a nice thing to catch your feet on. With those like skinny 19 mil cranks, sometimes it hurts when you go to catch, when you land on those. But with these, it's a nice big platform and it just feels good to catch it when you do catch these. I like that the spindle bolts have both an Allen key insert and just a regular extension block insert. Um, it makes it real easy to tighten and adjust these things. Sometimes that's hard to do with an Allen, but if you just got an extension and then you can just stick your wrench right in there and just crank it down. I really like the lifetime warranty, even though apparently I'm never gonna need it. Now I say that they're immortal, but just like every other BMX part, one day these are probably going to crack or break, which is why they come with a lifetime warranty. Like they've lasted so long that it's kind of starting to scare me a little bit and I do check them a lot more often than I used to now. You should always check all the welds on your bike, but especially now since these have hit the five year mark, I check them like every couple weeks now just to make sure. But with how hard I ride, I could honestly see these things lasting for at least another couple years. They're kind of like that old person that you work with that look like they're about 107 years old that could maybe drop dead at any second but they work harder than you do. And now, yes, this video is kind of clickbait. You don't have to write a goofy comment being like, no, profiles are the better, or whatever fucking cranks, like fucking rant cranks are the best. <laughs> I'm not definitively saying that these are the best. I'm just saying that they are definitely in the running for the best. In my experience and for my personal amount of parts that I've ridden over the years, these cranks are definitely the ones that have lasted the longest, which is why I think that they could just possibly be the best BMX crank ever created. All right, I think you guys are tired of me talking and I'm tired of listening to this poor dog bark. Now to cap off this video, we're gonna call Doc and Marty. We're gonna summon the time wizard. We're gonna get in that one elevator in SB129. We're gonna hop into the time machine and look at a bunch of clips of me riding these cranks throughout the years from 2017 up to today in 2022. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.
Now you just gotta get the hard. There she is. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Avocado Man. Yo. Oh, first try. There we go. There we go. Fuck yes, Dan.
Oh, bro.